What's up? I'm Jessica. Thanks for hanging out. It's Loma Eleven. We're at Mission Beach at Belmont Park. We're going to meet the daters and they're going to remove the blindfolds to meet each other for the very first time. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm Danielle. I'm Jacob. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Instead of giving you cash, we've upgraded to the plastic. Behind you, if you take a look, there's actually some dolphins, which is pretty cool. Do you guys like dolphins? Yes. Do you know what dolphins mean? Do you know what they're a symbol of? No. They're actually a really big symbol of friendship and happiness. I feel like this is going to go good. Wow, perfect. <laughs> Especially if you have dreams about the dolphins tonight. Like, it's going to be good. I think I just might. <laughs> okay, anyway, so we have a game for you. You have 5, 10, and then 5. So remember those three numbers is you're going to ask each other five questions. Once you know five new things about each other, then you're gonna have 10 minutes. Based on those questions, you need to buy your date a present. But the thing is, you only have $5. I know that's not a whole lot, but what you can do is you can try and make these beach people, these beach shop owners feel sorry for you. Be like, I'm on a TV show, um, I need a good deal. So you can try to barter with them. You might have a little more luck than uh, Jacob will. But if you get a woman's store owner, you'll be good to go. Yeah. Just, you know, give her a little wink. So, yeah, you should be good. Cool. Okay, so you guys ready? Okay, so first of all, what's your favorite color? Ooh, my favorite color? Probably blue. Blue, all right. Uh, where's your favorite place to go on vacation? Favorite place to go on vacation? Probably Disneyland. Ooh, Disneyland's okay. Disneyland's pretty awesome. All right. Okay. What is your favorite movie? Ooh. I really like Remember the Titans. That's a great movie. Uh, uh, what's your favorite animal? Favorite animal? It's I think it's a tie between a penguin and a panda bear. All right. I can't really choose. All right. But, um, all right. What's your favorite mythical creature? Um, I don't know. What kind of mythical creatures are they? I don't know. Name some. A unicorn or a centaur. Or we'll just say a unicorn. A unicorn, right. Unicorn does. Can't what? go wrong with the unicorn. All right. How about you? Favorite mythical creature? I like. I like the little like fawn or whatever. Have you seen Chronicles of Narnia? Yeah. Those things are pretty sweet. They are. Uh, Mr. Tumnus. Like yeah, Mr. Tumnus. I like it. Yeah. All right. Is that four or five? That's like I don't know. I think that's um, four. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, where are you from? How about that? I am from LA. from LA. Where are you from? I'm from NorCal. Okay. Concord, east of San Francisco. But, All right. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. <laughs> and last question, got to think of a good one. Who is, oh, who's your favorite band slash artist? Ooh, I really like Switchfoot. Switchfoot's awesome. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite hobby? Favorite hobby? Well, I'm on the cross-country team. I do like to run. Okay. So I guess that would probably be my favorite hobby. All right. Yeah. So, uh, when I first met her, it was pretty cool. I mean, she seems like a really awesome person. Um, I don't know. We got along fine. It wasn't really that awkward with the questions. I just couldn't really think of anything. But, um, yeah, she seems super chill. So, uh, hopefully, I can find something really awesome. We're going to see what Jacob comes up with and what Danielle comes up with. Who do you think is going to have the sweeter gift? My five bucks. Not really sure yet. So what happened on the day? But I'm thinking this could be a good idea. It's kind of cheesy, but um, could be a good thing. I forget where he said his favorite vacation spot was, so hopefully it's somewhere with the beach. And there's definitely a dolphin on this, so that could be a good thing. We're it's a blind date show, and so I have five dollars to spend. <laughs> do you do five dollar tattoos? <laughs> oh, wait. No. Okay. And the piercer, you want oh. your piercer for five bucks? For five bucks? We'll do something rad. I'm thinking this could definitely get more use and be a lot more fun. So I think we'll get this. Let's go. For, t for time's sake, I think I'm going to have to come back another time. Yeah, I think we could actually have a lot of fun with this. Um, I'm not really good at flying a kite, but maybe he will be. Let's see what we got here. Hmm, got a little... Jamaica, various Jamaica themed items. Um, although that could be bad news because I don't want everyone to think that I think that she's a pothead. So I'm not going to go with that. There we go. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, good luck on your date. Thank you. Okay. 
have a nice evening. You too. Thank you. If it doesn't work out, come back. <laughs> okay. Because it's two for five dollars. And not necessarily on the same finger, but just like, maybe like, I don't know. I think these complement each other very well. I got you these awesome rings. One oh, of them is blue. Nice. So that's your favorite color. Yes, it is. And the other one matches it. I guess I'm terrible with colors, but it has blue <laughs> it on matches. it. Thank you. One, but yeah. Thank you. They could be our friendship rings. I like that idea. I All like right. it too. I'll take the orange one because right. you like blue. So okay. Yeah. Definitely. Be careful which finger you put it on. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I got you this awesome kite in hopes that maybe one day we could fly it together. Uh, yeah. No, it's been really windy, so that's yeah, good. it's perfect kite flying weather. It is. So I'm very excited. I haven't flown a kite since I was like six. There you go. It's bringing back childhood wow. memories. said that he got me a ring, I was kind of freaked out <laughs> because we were joking about that and saying that he'd propose. It's kind of creepy, but uh, I ended up giving him the other one back so he could wear him his friendship ring, so I don't know. It's pretty cool, it worked out. So she got me the kite and it was really random, but like I totally love random and everything. Like I think that's awesome. I haven't flown a kite since I was like yay high, so that's cool. And um, then she, I got the rings. And then we decided that they're friendship rings, which is pretty rad. So now the question is, do you guys want to go on a second date? Or do you just want to take a gift card and then go your separate ways? What do you guys say? Ooh. I, think, I say we'll go for it. I think we should too. Think, we yeah. have a kite to fly. <laughs> They have a kite to fly, so that means that Danielle and Jacob are going out on date number two. Your next date is going to be at Jamba Juice. That's it for tonight. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. It's been good. Catch you next time on Loma 11. I'm your host, Jessica Bobic.